Here we have to check whether each sequence can be arithmetic, geometric, or neither. So first we're going to check arithmetic sequence. So I'm going to mark it as A, arithmetic. And then we're going to check geometric. So now arithmetic sequence has to have the same distance uh, between two adjacent terms. So 3, 2 minus 3, 8 should be equal to 6 minus 3, 2. Okay, so the difference between these two should be the same as the difference between these two. 6 minus 3, 2. So let's check that. So let's check this difference first. So there's a uh, denom denominator 2, and we need this denominator to be 8, right? Because the least common multiple of 2 and 8 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8, so that means 3 times 4 is 12. So we're talking about 12 over 8 is the same thing as 3 over 2. Minus 3, 8. And the right side, now let's check that. The least common multiple of, uh, so 6 is the same thing as 6 divided by 1, right? 1 and 2, the least common multiple of 1 and 2 will be 2 when we're talking about a fraction. 6 over 1, right? So 1 and 2, the least common multiple is 2. So that means 6 will be multiplied by 2. So it's going to be 12 over 2 minus 3 over 2. So now, as you can see, this cannot possibly make sense because uh, 12 and 3 looks like the same picture on the top, but different denominators, right? So even though the numerators will be ultimately the same, the denominators won't, right? Because this denom denominator is 8, this denominator is 2. So this cannot possibly be equal. So that means this is not equal because we just checked the same denominators on, the, on uh, this side here when we worked it out. So, so now, this is not arithmetic, so we can cross it out. Now let's check the geometric. So geometric is such that 3, 8, you can pick any term, we're going to pick the first term by default, 3, 8 times the ratio, the common ratio, because we're talking about geometric, we're talking about multiplication products here. So uh, the ratio, the common ratio, times 3, 8 should give you the next term. 3, 2. Right? So if you solve for r here, you will basically divide both sides by 3 over 8 to solve for r. So that means the r value, the r value should be 3, 2 divided by 3, 8. 3, 2 divided by 3, 8 is the same thing as 3, 2 times the reciprocal of this, right? Which is 8 over 3. So now, as you can see, what this gives you, um, the threes cancel out, right? These cancel out, and as a result, it's going to be 8 over 2, which is 4. So now let's check the ratio of 4 with these two. If 3, 2 times the 4 is equal to 6, then this is geometric, right? So let's check that. 3, 2 times 4. Does that give us 6? Actually, it does, because 4 divided by 2, right? Because... When it comes to multiplication, you can divide this 4 by 2. So 4 divided by 2, because this is 4 over 1, right? So 4 over 1 means this will be on the top where the 3 is. It will multiply the 3. So thus, we can divide 4 by 2, because 2 is in the denominator. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Bingo. So what does that mean? This means it is geometric. Okay, so this, this sequence is geometric. Good. Part B, same thing. First, for an arithmetic test, we're going to test uh, to see if there's the same difference between these two and these two. So 3, 8 minus 3, 4 should give you 9, 8 minus 3, 4. As you can see, this cannot possibly be true because... Uh, wait a second. I think I did. Uh, I did it wrong here. I should have had. Should have had. Uh, I did three eight minus three four. Three four minus three eight. Right. So three four minus three eight. Three four minus three eight. 
Okay. So that, uh, yeah, so we have to check here. We have to do a little bit, a little bit of work. So 3, 4 minus 3, 8. So here we, we uh, need the least common multiple of 4 and 8, which is going to be 8. Right, so 4 times 2, obviously, so that means 3 times 2 as well. So it's going to be 6 over 8 and minus 3 over 8. Should be equal to, and the right side again, this should be 6 over 8 to match the same denominator, right? So 9, 8 minus 6, 8. So now let's check that. Is that going to give us the same answer? Um, let's check if that gives us the same answer. 6, 8 minus 3, 8 is going to be 3, 8. 9, 8 minus 3, 6, 8 is also going to be 3, 8, right? So this is indeed equal. Right, this is going to be 3, 8, and the right side is also going to be 3, 8. So that means uh, the arithmetic sequence works. So if the, rhythm, if the arithmetic sequence works, the geometric cannot possibly work. Right, so this is going to be arithmetic. Okay, arithmetic sequence. Now the next one is going to be, again, the same test. First we start with the arithmetic. I'm going to do it this <laughs> right this time. 3, 5 minus 3, 4 is equal to 3, 6 minus 3, 5. Let's test that. So again, for arithmetic, I'm just checking to see that the, uh, the difference between the first two adjacent is the same as the difference between the second two adjacent terms. Because the common difference should be the same between any two adjacent terms, right? That's what I'm doing. So let's see. So here's going to be a little more complicated. Here we need to have um, we need to have let's see uh, five and four. The least common multiple is twenty, right? So this multiplies by four. So that means this multiplies by four. So twelve, twelve minus uh, and this multiplies by five, right? Five times three is fifteen divided by twenty should be equal to, now let's see this, This uh, the least common multiple is 30 here, 6 times 5, so this is 5 times 3 is 15, minus 6 uh, times 3, which is 18 over 30. So as you can see, the numerators are going to be the same, negative 3 and negative 3. However, the denominators are not the same, 20 versus 30. This cannot be possibly equal as a result. Same denominators, different, uh, same numerators, different denominators. Wrong, right? Cannot work. Not equal. So that, this is not arithmetic. Now let's check if it is a geometric. If it's not geometric, then it's going to be neither, right? It's possible that a sequence can be neither geometric neither, nor uh, arithmetic. So now let's explore with the common ratio that we worked before. So 3, three fourths times the R value, the common ratio, should be equal to 3 fifths, the next term. Solving for the R, the R ratio is what? 3 fifths divided by 3 fourths. 3 fifths divided by 3 fourths is the same thing as multiplying the reciprocal of that, 4 thirds. 3's cancel out, 4 fifths remains, right? So the ratio should be 4 fifths. So if we test 4 fifths between these two, let's see if it's going to work. So 3 fifths times the R value, which is 4 fifths, should give us 3 six. Does it give us 3 six? Let's see what we get. 12, numerator, and then 25. 12 over 25, is that the same thing as 3 sixes? 3 sixes is, is a half. 12 25 is not a half. 12 over 24 is a half. Right? But 25 is mighty too big for 12, to, for this fraction to be one half. So no, this is not equal. So that means this is not uh, neither arithmetic neither, uh, nor uh, geometric, right? So this is neither or neither, however way you want to pronounce it. Okay, so this is the first time we see that neither is possible. The next one, let's check the arithmetic. Negative 3, 4, minus 3, 4, right, minus the first one, should give us minus 6 over 4. Let's check these two. 3, 4 minus negative 3, 4, that gives us positive 6 over 4. 
right? So that's not geometric. Uh, uh, th this is not arithmetic, right? Because negative 6 over is not the same thing as 6 over 4, right? Th these are different signs. Don't be thrown off by the fact that there's a 6, 4 there. There's a minus and there's a plus. These are not the same quantities. This is negative, this is positive. So now the uh, geometric, the geometric test, uh, let's see. So as you can see, yeah, <laughs> I mean, using your eyes, you know this is going to be geometric because you just multiply by negative 1 each time, right? So the common ratio should be negative 1. This times negative 1 gives you this. This times negative 1 gives you the positive version again, and back and forth, negative, positive, right? So the common ratio should be negative 1. But just for the sake of math, let's test that to make sure that it's true. 3, 4 times the ratio should give us negative 3 over 4. So the ratio, if you solve for the ratio, negative 3, 4 divided by 3, 4, perfect, negative 1. Let's test that ratio between the second and third terms. Negative 3, 4 times negative 1 is indeed positive 3, 4, like it should be for the third term. Beautiful. So we just confirmed that this sequence is geometric. Okay. Now the last one, again, let's start with the arithmetic test. 4 fifths minus 3 over 4 should be equal to 5 6 minus 4 fifths. 5 6 minus 4 fifths. Let's see what this left side does. I'm going to work here. So least common multiple is 20. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 3 is 15 divided by 20 should be equal to, uh, this uh, LCM is 30, right? Least common denominator, so 5 times 5, 25 minus 24, divided by 30. So as you can see, the numerators will be the same. It will be 1 and it will be 1. But again, like in one of the other questions, the denominators are different. When you have the same numerators and different denominators, the quantity is not going to be the same, right? So this cannot possibly be equal. So as a result, this is not arithmetic, but it could be geometric. It could be neither. We have to check it out. So geometric test, 3 fourths times the common ratio should be 4 fifths. Solving for the common ratio. 4 fifths divided by 3 fourths is the same thing as 4 fifths times the flipped version of this, which is 4 thirds. This is 16 fifteenths. Testing this common ratio between the second and third terms. 4 fifths times 16 fifteenths should give us 5 sixths. Let's see if this is equal to 5 sixths. This is 16 times 4, which is... Uh, uh, 64, and this is 75. Does that equal to 5, 6? I highly doubt it. <laughs> I don't think this is equal to 5, 6. Um, to, uh, as you can see, let's see, um, first of all, I know that uh, this basically is a multiple of 5, and uh, which means it's an odd number, and this is an even number, and this is even on the top, and this is odd. That itself should, tells you, should tell you that this cannot possibly be equal. All right, so I would say no, this is not equal. You can use your calculator if you want to test it out. But, um, yeah, if you want to if you wanna experiment, uh, try to play around with the... LCM of 75 and 6. Let's say 75 times 6. Uh, if you want just to confirm that, 75 times 6 is going to be 600 minus 25 times 6, which is 600 minus 150. That's 450 on the bottom. I'm just doing this in my head to test it. And this will be multiplied by 6 as well. 360 plus 24, that's 384. Okay, so 384 
divided by 450 and you're going to you're going to see that it, the same denominator 450 for this 6 times 75 75 times 5 here 70 times 5 is uh, 350 plus 25, 375. So as you definitely can see, 375 in the numerator and 384 in the numerator here. Right? So you can confirm that these two are not equal by using the LCM of 450, which is 75 and 6 product. Okay. So good. So that means it's neither again, right? So this is not neither geometric nor arithmetic. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.